black girls in my area cold dark skin light skin medium tones hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making this cowhide print jacket um, I'm just gonna first start off by saying if you are doing this I repeat if you are doing this if you're getting the same exact better homes blanket make sure that you are you have a lining I was like I saw a little furs but I was like it'll be okay once I you know sew everything up no it's not okay so make sure that you have a lining and for that all you would do is just add a second uh, you just add another layer of all the things you already cut out basically so yeah make sure you guys have a lining or you're gonna have fur everywhere but anyway so we're gonna start off with cutting off cutting out these two front pieces I'm cutting them out right now and you guys are gonna see the fur y'all gonna see the droppings this is where I know I messed up this is where I knew but I was like when I sew more and I kept every when I sew everything together it's not gonna shed anymore I was very much so wrong so make sure like I said you guys are getting a lining and if you don't get a lining and you have fur all over your clothes don't be like well I watched Faye's video and she didn't use a lining so I didn't use a lining and now I have fur all over my clothes no because I told y'all to use a lining okay so now for the back we're gonna we're going to cut on a fold as you guys can see um, on the left side of the screen it's folded so when I open it up it's going to be a full back piece so that is what we're doing here Okay, so now I'm just folding the other part of the blanket up so I can get my two sleeve pieces. Um, it was giving me a little bit of, I didn't know if I had enough, so that's why you see me folding so much. But that's what I'm doing now, and I'm going to cut out two sleeve pieces right now. Also, we're cutting on a fold again, and I just did it inside out because that's the first place that I was going to sew. And if y'all see a little ashy knee, if y'all see a little bit of a, a little one-two ash, just mind your business. Just mind your business. Just mind your business. But yeah, so we are cutting out these sleeves and then we're going to put all the pieces together so you guys can see how they look. Look at all that fur. Look at all the fur. Look at all the lint. Look at it. And imagine how it looks on my black um, turtleneck dress that I wore after I finished this coat. But anyway. So we're going to pin this up and then I'm going to assemble everything together so y'all can see. Okay, Mr. Motorcycle. I'm trying to do my thing here. Okay, so here are two sleeve pieces and we're going to just move them to the side where your arms would be and then we're going to add our back pieces and our two front pieces and i'm going to show you guys where you'll be sewing the top right here you'll leave the armhole open you'll sew at the bottom and of course we're going to sew our um what is it called our sleeves pieces but i'll show you guys more when we get to that part so right now i'm just show i'm just sewing the parts of the like the base of the jacket that i just sewed you guys and I am using a straight stitch. I use a straight stitch all through this. Um, if you want to, you can do a double stitch, but I don't think I did. I think I just did a straight stitch. Actually, did I do a triple stitch? Straight stitch, sorry. Okay, so now we're going to hem the lining of the front part of our jacket. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'm just folding it in about maybe an inch and a, uh, a half an inch, but it's really up to you. But just don't fold it in too much because then you'll not, the jacket won't close properly together, but I would say about a half an inch is how much I fold it, fold it in and then I use a straight stitch just to hem this all together to give us a cleaner look and not make it shed as much as it's doing. On to the sleeves, I'm going to start pinning down where we would be sewing. Again, I used a straight stitch and I just straight, I did, what? 
I just sewed all the way down. Um, second reminder, make sure you guys have a lining. If you have a lining, then you're just going to cut two, you're going to cut in total four sleeves, two on the lining, two here, and then sew that together. I'm telling y'all, this is the third lining, I think, to make sure y'all have a lining, or you're going to have for everywhere. So I'm going to just sew down this sleeve. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then I'm going to fold over the end of the sleeve just to hem it so when you put it on, it's not shedding, of course, and to just give it a cleaner look. So I just folded it over. This is probably like an inch, maybe not even, and then I'm just going to pin it to keep it in place, and I did a straight stitch again all the way around the, um, what's this called? The armhole, I guess. Okay, so this is kind of recorded kind of bad, but what you're going to do is flip the base piece inside out. So... The base piece of your jacket is going to be flipped inside out and you're going to have your sleeve piece flipped on the right side and then you're going to put the sleeve inside of the jacket like I'm doing right now. So your sleeve is right side out, your jacket is inside out, you put the sleeve inside and then you pin around the armhole to connect the sleeve and the jacket. As y'all can see, I was not even, like you couldn't even see what I was doing, but hopefully I explained that good enough and I will of course be doing more jackets in the future so y'all can see a better look and there's many, many, many videos on YouTube that y'all can look at to see what I'm doing. So now I'm just, I took off the, whatever that piece is on your sewing machine so you can do a, like a whole circle. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going slow, even though it looks like I'm going a little fast, but make sure you go slow and steady. Be patient so you don't have any holes in your um, sleeve when you put the jacket on. So yeah, I'm just going slow using my straight stitch. And this is basically the end of the video. This was a pretty easy jacket to do also. I just wish I did the lining. So this is the end look. Comment down below which shades y'all like the best in the pictures that are about to come. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Later.